Hello, my name is Mike Rucka and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I will be going through the FDOT Civil 3D Subassembly Composer Training Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we'll start with Chapter 4, Input Output Parameters. Input and output parameters are values that can define once the assembly is imported into full-blown Civil 3D. They are defined under Settings and Parameters window, Input and Output tab on the bottom right window of the Subassembly Composer. If now the width of the shape is to be controlled not by a target parameter, but by an input output parameter, they must be defined on this window. Continue working on the same file or open up file 4.0 input output dash start dot pkt. Under the settings and parameter window, select the input output parameter tab. Create a width input by selecting the italic create parameter line. Set the type to double. Set the direction to input. And set the default value to 12. Rename parameter 2 to width. Highlight the P2 and L1 rectangle from the flowchart panel. Under Point Geometry Properties, revert the offset target overrides delta x to none. Elevation target to none. and leave minus 2% for the slope. And type in for width for delta x. Under the settings and parameters panel, select the input output parameters tab again. Change the default value for the width parameter to 5. The preview is automatically updated for the width. Select the italic Create Parameters line under the Input Output Parameters tab. Rename Parameter 3 to Thickness. Set the type to double, set the direction to input, and set the default value to 1. Highlight the P3 and L2 rectangle from the flowchart panel. And under Point Geometry Properties, change delta Y from negative 1 and write in negative thickness. Highlight the P4 and L3 rectangle from the flowchart panel. And under point geometry properties, change the delta Y from 1 to negative thickness. On the lower right input output parameters window, change the thickness parameter to 3. The preview panel automatically updates. Revert the value to 1. This ends chapter 4.